What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today I'll be talking about Patty Mills Bees. This one here came from lots of comment requests, so just let me know in the comment section any recommendation for a topic. And by the way, thank you guys for all your support in this series, your recommendations and likes really, you know, keep this series going, so it would be really awesome if you guys can do the same on this video. So now let's get right into it. So for those of you who don't know how this drop shot series works, basically every video I'll be covering a specific base or release, and I will cross compare to the others that are already covered. In this way, we can build those charts up video per video. There will be lots of elements that will be covered in this one, which is not included on the 2K charts, like front challenge, side drift, and visual comparisons. So now for the first one, in terms of shot speeds, it's right there at the top together with Curry. And by the way, if there are some that have the same shot speeds in there, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are exactly equal. It just happened that their gaps are too small to be tracked on this test. Now for the next one, the side drift. For those of you who don't know what side drift is, that's the sideway movement that a jump shot does when you shoot. And this one here is not just cosmetics, because it will actually affect coverage. And in here you can see, it's right there at the middle. Side drift stat is kind of subjective. Maybe some of you guys want your jump shots to drift on one side so you can exploit it. And some of you might want a more stable base because based on my experience, the more side drift the jump shot has, the harder to track the visual cue. So it's really up to you how you want to treat this chart here. And now for the most important part, the challenge reduction. For me personally, it's the most important element because it factors in a lot of things, like a shot speed, release height, front drift, which is the forward motion of your base, defensive immunity, and some other stuff. And now for the results, and here you can see it's right there at the second place, just a bit above curve. And to get some sense out of it, like why it's high on the list, and here you can see, yeah, it has pretty much the same front drift as Curry, but in terms of height, Patty Mills is a bit higher. So I guess that's the reason why it's better than Curry in terms of front challenge. So again, please let me know in the comment section what you think about it, and please leave any base or release recommendation. It doesn't matter what height range it is, I'm running episodes on all height ranges anyway. So that's all for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.